In this video, we are going to understand about another algorithm that is used in machine learning, that is logistic regression algorithm. So as we progress in this video, we will understand what exactly is this logistic regression algorithm and how is it actually different from linear regression algorithm. And we will learn in detail about the use case of this logistic regression algorithm and the how the parameters are tuned in the scenario of this logistic regression algorithm. So let's get started. So let's start by understanding what exactly is this logistic regression algorithm. So when I talk about this logistic regression algorithm and if you do a Google search, this is the definition that you would get when we talk about this logistic regression algorithm. So logistic regression is the appropriate regression analysis that we use it to conduct when the dependent variable is binary in nature. Now here they say that like all the regression analysis, logistic regression is a predictive analysis and this is used to describe the data and to explain the relationship between one dependent binary variable and one or more nominal, ordinal, internal or ratio level independent variables. So from this definition, I know a few terms might be very new to you if you're hearing for the first time and few terms might be already you might be aware of. So one thing that you need to remember is in the scenario of this logistic regression algorithm or the use case of this logistic regression algorithm here, whenever we are predicting a binary values, okay, whenever we are predicting the binary values of Y at that time, we can make use of this logistic regression algorithm. So when we take up this logistic regression algorithm, it basically helps us to answer the questions which are like the yes or no based questions, like whether the person is going to survive in an accident or not, whether the student is going to clear in the examination or not, whether the person is going to pay his credit card bill or not. So to answer those kind of questions, we can generally make use of this logistic regression algorithm. Now, the question that most of the learners would have, and even that's one of the tricky question as well. Why do we use this logistic regression rather than using the linear regression algorithm? Well, don't worry guys. Here, one of the, in one of the problem that we have got with this linear regression algorithm that we have is that here in the scenario of this linear regression, the dependent variable that is the value that we are trying to predict is continuous in nature. Okay, that's one of the main different one of the main feature of this linear regression algorithm which you are aware of. So here the value that we are predicting is continuous in nature. And another problem that we would face when we are working with this linear regression algorithm is that if I have any outlier in the data set, then the best fit line in the linear regression shift to fit that point as well. So these are some of the two things that you need to be aware of when we are talking about the linear regression. Now, if I make use of the linear regression algorithm to find the best fit where I'm trying to minimize the distance between the predicted value and the actual value, let's assume that I want to apply it for the task of classification. Maybe I want to say that whether the person is suffering from a disease or not. So maybe I'll have along the X axis. Okay. I have the tumor size and along the Y axis, we have the two binary values. Let's say yes or no. That means whether the cancer is malignant or benign. Okay. So this is what we have in our data set. And let us say that our data set contains the values in this way. Okay. I have some data points that would look like this. Now here in this case, okay. In this case, if I make use of the linear regression algorithm, which you are already aware of at that time, what I'll try to do is I'll try to draw a straight line, which passes through most of the data points isn't it? So I'll try to draw a straight line which passes through most of the data points. And in this case, I might draw a straight line. Like I might try out by drawing multiple straight line. 
So I'll try to find a straight line which passes through most of the data points. Now we can clearly observe that in this case, no matter how I draw this straight line, I cannot fit all the data points that I have in this sample space. The reason because I just have two values over here. These two values are actually the, the binary values that I have got, which we are trying to predict. So when we have this kind of data set, so the straight line will not be actually helpful for us. So what we would actually need is a kind of a line where there is a kind of a shape curve in my data set so that I can fit all the data points. And that is where the logistic regression function comes into fun comes into picture. See, when we make use of this logistic regression, it actually makes use of this logistic function. And this logistic function is going to squeeze the linear regression output such that it will range in the value between 0 to 1. Okay, that is the overall functionality of this logistic function. And mathematically, if you look at it, the logistic function is given by 1 over 1 plus e power minus of z, where z is equal to theta naught plus theta 1 uh, x1 plus theta 2 x2 up to theta n xn. So I'm going to apply this logistic function on the linear regression term, which will help me to squeeze the values between 0 and 1. So that's the beauty of this logistic regression function. Now the best part is, so since I'm actually getting the values between 0 and 1, so what this would result is, this would result in an S-shape curve like this. So this would result in an S-shape curve that would look like this. Now with this S-shape curve, I'll have the predicted values of y is equal to y 0 and 1. Okay, see, I now have the values between 0 and 1 with the values of x. So if I want to convert any values between 0 to 1 to either 0 or 1, I can make use of a threshold. Now with the help of this threshold, I can classify the data points as whether it belongs to class 1 or whether it belongs to class 0. So in this way, I can convert the continuous output from the linear regression equation into the values between 0 to 1, which will help us to perform the activity of binary classification. Okay, so this is the core idea behind this logistic regression function. So we now know as how does the logistic regression function would look like. See, logistic regression function is nothing but I'll be applying the logistic function on the regression terms. Now, as an outcome, I'll be getting an S-shape curve. Now, how does the system is going to find the best parameters for this logistic regression algorithm? Well, the system is going to find the best values of these parameters with the help of a technique that's called as a gradient descent technique. It's called as the gradient descent technique. Okay team, so I'll stop the video over here. In the next video, let's talk about this gradient descent technique.